What's up guys, I'm Reckless and welcome to Guardian Watcher. It is November 17th, 2017, and that means it is week number 10 of Xur. Xur is located on Titan in this little area on the rig, so we're going to mark him and see what he has in his quickie mark this week. Xur! What's up, dude? So, like always, we're going to start with the left-hand side. We have Hard Light, which is an ARC auto rifle. Intrinsic perk on this is Volatile Light, which rounds fired from this weapon have no damage fall off, over penetrate targets, and ricochet off hard surfaces. Then we have Polygonal Rifling, Alloy Magazine, ARC Core, Solar Core, as well as Void Core, and then we have Composite Stock. And this also comes with a uh, weapon attack mod. Hey, what do you know? I have an ornament for it. So, this thing is a decent auto rifle. It's not anywhere near, you know, that competitive in PvE or PvP. It's more so one of those fun weapons to use. So, yeah, it's pretty much about it for the hard light. I probably would give this maybe a... Eh, a tier 3 in PvE as well as PvP, but like I said, it's more like a fun weapon to use. It's it's definitely not meta weapon, so yeah, if you guys want it, by all means, go ahead and grab it. If you guys don't want it, grab it, try it, call it a day. Next exotic we're going over is the Lucky Raspberry for the Hunter class with double mobility as well as resilience. And trended perk on this is Mobility Matrix, which increases the chaining capabilities of arc bolt grenade and has a chance to recharge it each time it deals damage then we have a plus steel reinforcement mod restorative mod and this also comes with arc ordnance mod so lucky raspberry is definitely a blast from the past from destiny one there's a reskin exotic and uh, not really one of the top tier uh how do you say exotics for the hunter class at least not in destiny 2 and this probably is gonna get you know a tier 3 in pve and pvp as well just for the simple fact that there are better exotics out there the raiden flux or the raiden flux as i like to say is definitely a better exotic uh for your pole dancer than uh the lucky raspberry is so if you guys don't have a Lucky Raspberry and you guys are, are a um, collecting and grab it, if not, then I probably would skip out on this. Next exotic we'll be talking about is the Synthoseps for the Titan class. And this has double resilience and a little bit less uh, recovery. In terms of perk on this is Biotic. Oh, biotic, sorry, <laughs> enhancements, <laughs> which uh, increase melee lunge range, improve melee damage when surrounded. Okay, decent. Then we have plus steel reinforcement mod, restorative mod, as well as kinetic munition loader. Now, in Destiny 1, the Titan, even though it felt like it had T Rex arms, still had like most likely the strongest melee in the game and in destiny 2 nothing's changed you know it does have the strongest melee still um but i don't think you really need increased range you know it's it's good the way it is i don't see a use for this so i'm probably gonna give it a tier 3.5 in PvE and PvP. I just don't see a, a, a real use for this. You know, the melee range isn't that bad on a Titan anyways. So, yeah, get if you want. If you don't, grab it, shard it, have it in the inventory, call it a day. And last but not least, we have the Karnstein Armlets for the Warlock. Oh my god. With a little bit of mobility, resilience, and recovery. And treasure perk on this badass is Vampire's Caress, which melee attacks grant health recovery and melee grenade and class ability energy. Then we have Mobility Enhancement Mod, 
uh, plus steel reinforcement mod as well as acceleration mod. If you guys do not have these, grab them. These things are top tier, top tier for the Warlock. And I actually have mine set up with Mobility Enhancement Mod as well. Uh, my, nope, I don't. That's not mine. <laughs> I have mine set up with uh, Plus Steel Reinforcement Mod as well as Void Ordnance Mod. So if you guys do not have these things, go ahead and grab them. These things are definitely top tier for the Warlock, hands down. I There's really nothing much to say. This thing definitely gets a 1.5 um, in PvE and PvP because it's just as good in both. But in PvP, I probably would switch it off a little bit more to the Netherrack Sin as long as you do uh, Void Damage Kills. You don't have to be a Void Walker Warlock to get Void Damage Kills. You can still use weapons like Uriel's Gift and anything else that does Void Damage um, in order to get the effect off of Nezarek Sin. But, primarily, no matter what I use, PvE or PvP, I definitely use the Kernstein Armless hands down. So, by all means, get these things, use it. It's just amazing, you know, how fast you get your, uh, your abilities back. So, go and get this shit if you don't have it. And if you don't have a Warlock, get it anyways. Put it in your vault and hold it until you make one. Just get it. Now. Did you get it? I hope you did. And that, fellow Guardians, brings us to the end. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, share it, and if you have any ideas for a future video, let me know in the comments below. Feedback is always appreciated. Subscribe and turn on notifications for more Destiny content. Thank you guys for all of your support, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.